So let's talk about how Amazon dropshipping works. In this video, we're gonna go over how the business of Amazon dropshipping works. So if you're thinking about, if you're either A, looking for a way to make extra money, or you're B, thinking about getting into Amazon dropshipping, you'll have an exact idea of how the entire process works, works so you can make sure you make an informed decision if this is something you wanna pursue, if this is something you wanna kinda of look more into. So before we go into dropshipping, we first need to understand how a kind of a regular business works so we can more fully understand dropshipping. So let's say that we were gonna open up a regular business and we were going to sell office supplies. We say, you know what? We're just going to sell a bunch of office supplies. What would a normal business do? A normal business, a traditional business would get a space that they would rent, maybe at a mall, maybe at a, you know, intersection, but they would have an actual brick and mortar business. So it's basically just a physical place we could go into, right? Just like if there's any office stores you've ever visited that have office supplies, maybe, you know, um, um, office depot or you know something like that we would get a building now in order to get that building we would have to usually to get a building like that you're going to pay first and last month's rent and usually a building that you're that is going to be that products are going to be sold out of the customers usually costs a fair amount of money it's not like renting an apartment um i tried to start a restaurant and it was like Ten or fifteen thousand dollars a month, and we had to pay first and last month's rent. So that's like twenty to thirty grand right there. Now, after we pay that, then what we would have to do is we would get insurance on the place because people are going to be walking in it. We would hire employees. We would pay people to make the inside look nice. You ever notice if like you go into a mall, um, or maybe back when malls were open, you know, before the you know pandemic started, but uh, when you walk into a mall. Each store has kind of a different vibe. It's got a different feel to it. So, you know, the makeup place ha might have posters and statues of people with makeup, and it might have certain colors, and it's got certain things in it. Then maybe I go into, maybe the next place we go into is the clothing place. And the clothing place has mannequins. So it's basically those, those fake people. It's like not actual people, but they have the clothes. And the lighting's a certain way. Some of the lighting's real bright, some of the lighting's kind of in a, a pretty little display. And then maybe the cash register has, you know, uh, it's made a certain way. It's not just a regular cash register. There might be wood that it's kind of put on, or it might be tile or marble or something like that. So then money would have to be paid to get the inside of the place to, to kind of resemble what we're doing. And that costs money to do. That can actually cost a lot of money. Then we got to buy a bunch of products. So we got the location. We're gonna hire the employees. We're gonna get an insurance on it. Where we we made the inside. When we get the inside, it's generally just gonna be an empty space. We gotta to pay to make it look good, right? How we want it to get it. Now we gotta buy the office supplies. So what are we gonna to have to do? We gotta get the office supplies. We gotta have them in the store. So when the customer walks into the store, they can put their stuff in the cart and check it out. So maybe we figure out whoever made this. Scissors right here. We figure out whoever made this scissors and we contact this company. It says titanium, or oh, maybe, I don't know. Westcott is what they said right here. So we contact this company. We say, hey, we got this beautiful location. We would like to sell your scissors. And the company's gonna say, okay, you can order from us. A lot of companies, in order to get deals, they want you to buy in bulk. If I go to, uh, you know, the 7-Eleven, and I buy a candy bar, it might be two bucks. If I go to Walmart and I buy a little box of candy bars, each candy bar might be a dollar. If I go to Sam's Club or Costco and, you know, I buy, uh, you know, a big case of candy bars, maybe 30 candy bars in a case, I might get each candy bars at 60 cents. So in order to get a good deal, generally I got to buy a bunch of them. So the wholesaler might say, okay, the person that makes the company said, okay, then this is just kind of generalizing how it works. But they say, okay, you can buy these. The minimum you have to buy is 50. And if you buy 100, you get a little bit cheaper. If you buy 250, you get a little bit cheaper. If you buy 1,000, you get each one cheaper because you're buying a quantity. That's kind of how like uh, you know these businesses work. So it's say, like, okay, I'm going to start off small. I'm only going to buy 50 of them. So we get 50 of these. Then whoever makes this, we're going to get 200 of these. Then this calculator right here, we're going to get 50 of these. Generally, 
And again, this is just generalizing, but money's going to have to be paid up front for that, right? So how a regular business works is a regular traditional business generally costs a lot of money to get started. Generally, a lot of money has to be put into it. As you've probably seen over the last few minutes we've spent together. And that can really add up. And then, just because we bought 50 of these, does that mean 50 of them are going to sell? What if we made a bad decision? What if they're not popular? What if we have to sell them, but we sell them at a price we can't make money on? So there's all these risks to starting a traditional business. Then we have drop shipping. Now, that doesn't mean drop shipping does not have risks. There's lots of risk. There's a video on this channel that actually I dive into a lot of the risks. A lot of other people, they make videos just on the positives. I want you guys to know the good, the bad, and the ugly with it. That can be found on this channel. So what's the benefit to drop shipping? The benefit to drop shipping on Amazon is we're going to take items and we're going to list them on our Amazon store. To get a professional Amazon store is $39.99 a month. That's it. We can list as many items as we want for that price. I have over 8,000 products listed on my Amazon store. All I pay to do that is $39.99 a month. I pay when each item sold, but I don't have to pay per item I list, which is a little benefit compared to eBay or you know platforms like that. But also... Well, let's just keep moving forward. So I list all these items. I got 8,000 products. It costs me, besides the $39.99 a month, nothing to do. Nothing to do. I could list 100,000 items. It's still just $39.99 a month. Then what I do is I list items from different websites. So one of them is Walmart. Walmart's a big popular place we drop ship from. So maybe these scissors are selling on Walmart. And maybe it's a pack of them and you get them for 10 bucks. I'll list these scissors on my Amazon store for, let's say, $18. I'll wait. Then when a customer goes to Amazon and they decide to buy these scissors from me, and once I got the sale, once Amazon says, congratulations, you just sold these pair of scissors for $18, and I, I got the sale, then and only then, I'll go to walmart.com, I'll buy the scissors for $10, I will ship them, so I'm... Ch I'll, add the scissors to my cart in Walmart. I'm about to check out. Instead of shipping them to me, I just change the seller's name, the name of the person these scissors are going to, to the seller's name that I got inside my Amazon store. Then instead of shipping them to my address, I'll change my address to the customer's address that they give me. It happens automatically inside the Amazon store. And then I ship the scissors directly from Walmart to the customer. The customer's happy because they get exactly what they order. I'm happy because I made money. Amazon's happy because they make money. The Amazon, they actually get a little, they get a fee. They get a, per, they get, they get a percentage of the total sale for every item you sell. That's how drop shipping works. That's kind of the essence of it. A lot of people like it because, you know, compared to a traditional business, you don't have to spend gazillions of dollars up front. I mean, imagine to store 8,000 products. Imagine just how many of those products you'd have to, how much money would be spent buying them up front. You could imagine, you know, the cost of the warehouse to store them in, hiring employees, it could be a, a big ordeal. So that's kind of how drop shipping works in a nutshell. We're going to take items from various, it can be Walmart or other places. I just, Walmart's one of mine. We're going to list them on our Amazon store. And then once a customer buys the item, they will buy the item from us. And then once that happens, we'll go to the place that we're sourcing the product from, the place that has the product initially. We'll buy the item, we'll check it out, we'll ship it to the customer. That's that. That's how drop shipping on Amazon works in a nutshell. If you like this video, there's actually a, there's other videos on this channel. I do. I make over hundred thousand dollars a year in profit drop shipping. I, I can show you my store in real time if you guys want to see it. Um, if we go right here to. Walmart, Amazon, you'll see I've done over $15,000 in sales today. Done over $217,000 in sales in the last 30 days. I make over $100,000 a year in profit drop shipping on Amazon. There's other videos on this channel. I'll try to put a playlist here that you can go and check out to learn more if this is something you want to get more information on and you decide to go through and check out those other free value videos.